JFK had weird eyes. Hey, I'm Tori Gordino, and this is Purple Opinions number eight. Stop trying to be funny. And today we talk about. <laughs> Just getting bullied here, man. No, no, I'll do the whole thing very seriously now. Does that make you feel better? Hi, I'm Tori Gordino. This is Purple Opinions episode 8. And today, we talk about wrestling. I mean, guys, is wrestling acting or is that a sport? Professional wrestling. It's, uh, very old. A lot of people have watched it throughout the years. There's a lot of different opinions about it. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people think it's like a mockery of sports. But there's also a lot of people who do like it. They think it's one of the cooler things on television. It's, for a lot of people, it's been going through their family for generations. And in the recent years, it's kind of moved to more of a uh, child-friendly angle, where it's uh, more marketable to families instead of, like, hardcore drunkards. Yeah. And now, weighing in at 276 pounds, Long Island native, Louis Acacase! I am a wrestling fan. <gasps> So I've been a fan since about 2007, and when I first found out about it, I really liked it. Now I know a lot of my other friends who I used to watch with grew out of it over the years, started hating it, but I never really felt that way. Just staring right at me as I speak. So I know nowadays a lot of people look down on wrestling. If you're over the age of 14, you shouldn't be a fan, but I completely disagree with that. So why am I still a fan? I don't look at it as just two guys rolling around in the ring like a lot of people might portray it. I like the entertainment. You might not enjoy it, but take a second to sit down and watch it. I enjoy it because it's entertaining. I like the stories they do, I like, you know, the moves that they portray in the match, how they pull them off, and I just find it entertaining, just like someone might enjoy baseball. They like the sport, they follow the stars, this is just something I enjoy. So now, we are very pleased to announce our very first special guest star on Purple Opinions, Longtime fan and wrestling expert Mac Morris. My name's Betsy, mother. <laughs> My name's Mac Morris, and I've been a. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Mac Morris, and I've been a wrestling fan since about 2008. Huge fan. I've trained to be a wrestler for about a year, and I gotta tell you, <laughs> three MB. <laughs> Is it a three count knockoff? Watch like Starcade and <laughs> you know. All these people are like, oh, wrestling's PG now, it's not cool. You know what? Wrestling goes in cycles. Back in the 90s, it was hardcore, raw, cool. They were adults now. They can handle that kind of content. But guess what? Now, they're breeding a new crop of wrestling fans. That means PG until at least 2016. I'm calling it. It's cyclical. They go for sales. It's what, it, it's what they do. It, it's a business. It's acting. I also hate when everyone's like, oh yeah, wrestling's fake. Wrestling is not cool. Do you know else is fake? Castaway. Everyone loves f***ing Tom Hanks. John, oh yeah, John Cena takes steroids. Uh, do you know what else he does? He has millions of dollars and he had, a, had an affair with a porn star. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Chris Jericho. Do you know why he's my favorite? He stays current. He does shows, Dancing with the Stars, that new show BattleBots. It may suck, but you know what? You've now heard about it and he's still current. He can change with the times. Can you change with the times? No one else could. Chris Jericho is also a star maker. He can make anybody look good. What I think that they have to do is let wrestlers be wrestlers. Let them use gimmicks that they're comfortable with. Don't just give them a gimmick to go with. On the indie scene, wrestlers choose what they are, what they want to be. Do you know what? It works out. They have great storylines, great fights, great rivalries. So just let wrestlers be wrestlers. You know that wrestling is still relevant. They can attract stars like Machine Gun Kelly, Flo Rida. At one point, in the 90s, they had Mike Tyson. Mike f Tyson. He was the baddest man on the planet. He could knock out anybody, but guess what? Stone Cold was the baddest man in the universe. Threw it down, right in the ring. He had money flying out of his pocket. Stone Cold Killer. Just a little shout out. I'm going to shout out to Fight the World Wrestling, Long Island Wrestling. Go see it. Support indie wrestling. They're, they're the stars of tomorrow. Alright? So you go see them, have some pictures of them, and be like, hey, snap, snap. Duck face, I don't care. Just take pictures with them. You're going to see them on WWE, and you're going to be like, I, I was there at the start of their career. Yeah, I made them. Thanks for having me on. Purple Opinions. Loved it. Hope to be back. And if you want me back, comment below. Thanks.
So Mac and Lewis are huge wrestling fans. Me, I stopped watching about a year ago. I'm not really sure why, I couldn't tell you. I guess one day I just stopped wanting to watch it. It wasn't interesting to me anymore. It's not like you hang out with girls or anything, so why'd you stop watching it? <laughs> <laughs> I started watching it around the same time as Lewis. It was really cool when I first started. I really liked it. I really thought it was like the coolest thing on television. It was like my week. My week, my life revolved around it. And as I got older and as time moved on, I don't know, I just was less interested. What's up, Pops? <laughs> Nothing, what are you doing? We're just filming Purple Opinions. Oh, this is so special. Yeah. No, I really do. I think it's still cool. I don't know, it just got less interesting to me. Maybe it just got old, repetitive. I'm not really sure. I like it, but it's... <clears throat> I don't watch anymore. But on that note, that doesn't mean I don't like to keep up with it. So for all the people who say wrestling is fake and gay, just... I, I can't stand those people. I enjoy wrestling because I find it entertaining. Just like any of you out there find TV shows entertaining, you know most of the shows you watch probably aren't real. You watch The Walking Dead, completely fake show, made up, has a storyline. Just like most things on TV. Jersey Shore. I know it's old now, completely irrelevant, but that show was one of the fakest on television. Reality, Reality show? Absolutely not. Come on. Really? Everything in that show had a storyline to it. It was all writers behind that show just to make it entertaining. And you know what everyone did every night there was a new episode? You watched it. You went on, you couldn't wait for that new episode. So that's what I find in wrestling. I know it's all scripted behind the scenes, but I watch it because it's entertaining. Just like anyone watches any other reality show for its entertainment. Yeah, but you also watch or listen to Justin Bieber on a lot of other bullshit. There's nothing wrong with Justin Bieber. First off, I want to give a big thanks to Mac Morris. He was a huge help today, and we really enjoyed having him. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching Purple Opinions. Again, we would like to thank our very first ever special guest, Mac Morris. If you have any opinions on this topic, please leave them in the comments below. We would really appreciate that. If you did like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this content, you can subscribe right here. New Purple Opinions come out every Friday. If you have a Facebook, you can like us here at this link. If you have a Twitter, you can follow us here at this link. And if you missed last week's episode, you can check it out right here. And we will see you guys next week. Friday. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I got it! I got it! <laughs>